Hey everyone, it's Zoe Belcher. It is September 23rd, uh, day 45 of this journey. Today I weighed in this morning at 204.8 and as of tonight I have 5,269 steps. I won't be getting many more in tonight because I am exhausted. Um, yeah, I told you I was really stressed out yesterday and Thankfully, today was a workout day. Debbie came over and we did battle rope and TRX and all really good stress relieving um, exercises. So that, that definitely helped a lot. Um, although this morning I wasn't quite as stressed as it was yesterday. It's definitely a good way to get things out. Those battle ropes are like perfect for stress relief. Um, but I wanted to mention... Uh, I've, for those of you who know me, they, you know I've had uh, chronic migraines since I was like 12. I've battled migraines. Um, thankfully, since Silas has been born, I haven't had them as bad, but um, it's starting to get colder up here, and so the, the cold fronts are coming through, and most of my, my migraines are triggered by cold fronts. The, the colder the front, the, the worse my head's hurting. Um, but one thing that I learned is that working out does help with my migraines. Um, so one of the things that I did long ago was I cut out caffeine. So other than chocolate, which does have some caffeine in it, I don't drink caffeinated tea. I don't drink caffeinated sodas. Um, everything I do is decaf. Uh, I can't drink caffeinated coffee. It makes my stomach uh, churn. But um, caffeine was one of the things that my doctor was like pretty strict about cutting out and then um, working out and exercise in my you know increase your water intake so even though I try to drink a ton of water on days I have headaches I even try to drink more um, helps with making sure your blood's thinner and flowing well and then you know a workout even though it sounds like oh how can you how can you function with your head pounding if I'm just at like a mild migraine stage and I'm not oh my god I have to be on the couch I'm dying sometimes that workout actually helps increase my oxygen flow it helps increase my heart rate keeps my blood flowing a little bit more and um, it really does the trick to help minimize my migraines so uh, that's one thing I've learned over the years is to try to keep moving sometimes when the migraines kick in there's a point at which you know maybe I can't but um, so try that if you if you do suffer from headaches um, if you can move and function maybe try a brisk walk or some some exercises that get your heart rate up and moving um, and see if it helps your head any uh, just kind of a throw that out there today um, one of the things that Debbie mentioned today we were talking about um, was was fatty foods and well fat in foods you know so many diets now tote <coughs> pardon me low fat but look at those low fat um, products compared to say the full fat products and compare like the ingredient list and look at the chemicals that are you know, there's a lot of processing and chemicals that are used to take those fats out and something has to be added to help with the flavor you know so look at the sugar levels and, and <coughs> some of those things we really when I started looking at the paleo diet um, one of the things I cut out was margarine I only use butter now and unsalted I don't use salted butter um, coconut oil and then I also went back to full fat like um, sour cream I don't use a lot of it maybe a couple te tablespoons a week so it's not like you're eating a whole half gallon of sour cream you, you know so instead of moderating it by using low fat moderate it by your portion size make sure that you're not eating it every day but just look at those ingredient lists you need to learn how to read your ingredients um, and read those dietary uh, charts that they put on there for you if if you don't there's plenty of good websites out there that will show you how to do that and just remember that whatever's the first ingredient that's 
the most, you know, so if you see something and sugar is the first ingredient, you guarantee you that's full of sugar. Um, Cause they put it in, in descending order by content. So um, those are just some things that I've been doing here lately. Uh, we are tomorrow. I'll record a video and then I'll see how the weekend goes. We are traveling for the weekend. So I may not be able to record for a couple days, depending on um, what access I have to Wi-Fi and all that. So if you want to follow me, uh, you can look me up on Facebook, Zoe Belcher, Z-O-E-B-E-L-C-H-E-R. Don't forget, if you don't know anybody that I know, just uh, message me so I know how you found me. Also, um, Pinterest, I'm on as Zoe Belcher. Um, my fitness pal and Periscope RZ Belcher. All right, guys, you have a good night, get some rest, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.